Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am taking you along on a shop with me trip and this is specifically for some fall items that I was looking for my home. And I visited some of my favorite stores including Tuesday Morning, TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And I did find some really neat things and I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite items that I found and make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can check out how I styled these items in my home as well as some fall styling tips. So our first stop was Tuesday morning and I have not been to this store in what seemed like ages, but something just told me to go in and check it out. So I did and I'm so glad I did because they had so many awesome things in there and so many beautiful pieces. I was really, really shocked. So they had a ton of these like cutting boards and cheese platters and I am kind of a sucker for like trays like that. They look so cute behind your stove or even on the counter, kind of more for decorative, but they do serve a dual purpose, I guess, because you can use them for charcuterie, but they had so many and at such good prices. This one was really cute for like salt and pepper or olive oil. It was really small, but it was really cheap. Um, and then this bigger one was really cute. I kind of like the rustic look, but then it had that functional um, plastic on the back. So for $12.99, that was such a good deal. So the rugs are another hot spot in Tuesday morning. It's kind of hit or miss, but in this case, it was definitely a hit. There were a lot of really cute styles. This was a little boho. And my favorite thing about their rugs is they're usually really neat quality and good quality um, and for such good prices. I feel like these are less expensive than like your home goods or places like that. That's just my opinion. They did have one that I fell in love with, this brown and like cream colored and the texture was this one's really cute too that one was a good neutral but the uh also the color on that was so pretty it was like a very very light blush but anyway this one the texture oh my gosh so if you can see very clear it is like leather weaved in there for 40 dollars i just loved this texture i thought it was so unique and really really neat but i don't have a place for it so i had to pass on it so they also have like a ton of ceramics and everything that has an orange sticker on it was 20% off. So that was even cheaper than their normal prices, which I think is amazing. But this wooden box was so cute. I have to kind of watch myself because I will end up with a ton of trays and then like nothing to put in them or I have too many at home. So sometimes I have to pass on the trays, but this white ceramic piece, so pretty. You could cover this with like mortar or get some texture on it and totally change the look of it. But I loved that style. And then this vessel is another piece that you could also either paint or add some type of mortar or something and make it look really pretty with some florals coming out the top. Okay, this mirror, you guys, oh my gosh, so pretty. I wish I had a place for this. I just love the style. I don't even know what style this is. If this is like more modern or industrial, I don't know. But for the price, it was $34 and it was 20% off. I thought it was just gorgeous. I am such a sucker for photo frames. I tend to buy them and then never use them, but I did really like this one. It was kind of a modern rustic mix and reminded me kind of of a horseshoe, but I could totally picture it on like a hook or something really cute. Well, I really liked this neutral blanket. It was a wool mix and it was only $12.99. So neutral and looks really cute with anything really. I loved the tassels on it, super cute. Okay, this tray you guys, is massive when I saw this I you just know when you have to have something um, luckily it was a pretty good price it was $34.99 but this tray is huge I could just picture it oh I was claiming it I was putting everything on there it was mine so that was hands down one of my favorite finds of the whole day if not the whole year it is so adorable so I kind of put this little like beignet type thing together with the blanket and the tray and the pillow and I was trying out like some different florals and I love the dried florals they smell so good and like they have that crafty smell um, I kind of went a little bit bold with the red and the orange 
but I really like how it just warms everything up. Okay, and this bowl, you guys, is haunting me for $8. I didn't get it, and it was so heavy. It was such good quality, and I passed on it. So moving on to the pillows, they have um, quite a bit. I wasn't crazy about that many of them. I did find some cute little like lumbar ones. This one had a neat texture, but I just wasn't crazy about that whole Southwestern vibe. Um, this card one was kind of neat. I don't really have like a game room or anything, but I could totally picture that in something like that. Super neat. I did find this neutral rustic lumbar pillow. I don't know if it's a little bit too rustic. It does look cute with everything. However, I don't know. I really liked this gray and green kind of, I don't know, like Studio McGee style pillow. It really spoke to me, but it would just clash with my rug. So I passed on it, but so, so cute. I'm kind of regretting not getting it. Of course, not with the red flowers, but so cute, you guys. And I ended up going with the more neutral style and it turned out okay. Okay, so if you guys are into these, I think they're called sugar spinners. Nope, it's called sugar mold. So they had this huge gigantic one for $25. If you have a huge gigantic table, this would be perfect. So, so pretty. Okay, and this little ball here was $7 and I really liked like all the colors together. I thought it was really cute, um, but once I got it home, you guys, it did not go with anything, so it's going back. Um, I even tried out some like mixing metals with the candle, but nope, that didn't work either. Luckily, Tuesday morning has a great return policy. Okay, so moving on to TJ Maxx, you guys, the candles are it at TJ Maxx get to your local TJ Maxx and check out the candle section. It is fully stocked. They had so many candles, you guys. I really liked these glass jars with the wooden lid. So cute. I like the ones with the really minimal labels. Very cute as well. And that's pretty much it at TJ Maxx. I didn't find that much more than candles there. But moving on to Marshall's. So again, it was the same story at Marshall's. It was candle overload. You guys, so many candles everywhere. So I found that Marshall's had so much more um, unique type candles than TJ Maxx, unless I just didn't look that well, but there was so many cool ones. These were super modern. I like the gold and the black, really neat for Halloween as well. Um, I just really liked the shape of these. The smell, I don't really care that much about, but super pretty. I really liked this little like bluish gray guy, which I don't know why I didn't get that because that would look so cute in my living room. I don't know, maybe it's a little bit too spring. But they did have like these black ones with the little speckles, kind of reminded me of like Halloween a little bit. I really liked this black one and the label on it. I thought it was really pretty. To me, it just looks like a good quality candle. I don't know, I just really liked that one a lot. But the blue was also really pretty. It's like a bluish gray with the gold. I don't really have a ton of gold in my house, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of pretty. Before I put you guys on candle overload, um, I did pick up that little amber and cork one for my kitchen. I thought that was so cute for fall. But anyway, this black one, not this one, but the amber and the black leather, you guys. Oh, I just loved this. I thought it was so cool for like an office or something really like sleek. It kind of reminds me of like a man's candle or something. Very, very cool. Anywho. I did pick up this textured one. I thought this was really neat. It's kind of like a peachy type color, but it was really neat. So they did have some crystals there. These crystals were a little bit small in my opinion. I kind of like a little bit more of a statement crystal. So I had to put that back. 
Okay, and comment down below if you are into the whole like saging your house thing. I think it's kind of neat. Um, I like that kind of stuff. I'm really into like energies and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I cannot have this because it would be all over my house with my kids and my dog. But comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I always find a lot of really cute like pots and planters at Marshall's. There was a lady right here behind me like looking at me like a crazy person because I was filming everything. <laughs> but Marshall's is one of my favorite places for pots and planters and they have this cool wheat stuff, a little bit rustic in my opinion, but um, okay, this mirror, super cute. I loved the color. I loved the shape really neat and a good price. I really liked this black one also. I thought this one had a really unique shape as well. I really liked the modern frame, the clean lines, very pretty. So they did not have a very good selection of baskets. I was specifically looking for some baskets and they did not have really anything at all. They did however have a baby Yoda, so there's that. They did have these oversized, I like those black ones too actually, but they did have these oversized baskets and these were really big, you guys, like really big. This, the bigger one was 40 and then the smaller one inside was 30, but I mean, these were pretty big. I don't even know where you would put that, but they're there if you want them. And the very last store, I ran into Joann's really quick and they had a ton of fall decor. Um, those leather pillows are really cute. Not the best uh, like insert, but the leather and the wool on the back was really cute. They had a lot of really cute framed pieces and very like simple things, which I appreciate. Um, they had some cute throw blankets, a little bit thin, but still cute. They also had these cutting boards with the little leaf, super cute for like a charcuterie or um, a candle on them. I don't know, you can use these for so many different things, entertaining or decor, lots of cute stuff. So you guys check out Joann's, they have a lot of fall decor. And that's going to be it for this Shop With Me video, but I hope you guys are inspired to get out and take a look at some of the new fall pieces that they have out there. And if you've made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe and we'll catch you next time.